Final Cut Pro is amazing, but if you've ever tried to add subtitles, you'll know how painful it can be. So today I'm gonna to show you how to add subtitles the easy way in Final Cut. Now just briefly, there's basically three main ways that you can add subtitles to videos in Final Cut Pro. Number one is using the built-in captions tool. Now this is good obviously because it's free, it's fairly accurate, but it's really designed for creating more like closed caption subtitles. So you really can't restyle them very well. It's also quite difficult to adjust in terms of like the sentence lengths and all that kind of stuff. So if you're looking for stylized captions on things like short form videos, this is not really ideal. Number two, you've got external tools. So there's things like obviously auto captions on YouTube itself. You can use third party platforms or other automatic captioning tools online. But the big downside to this obviously is that you have to export your content, upload it somewhere else and then re-download, re-upload to YouTube. So it's more involved. The third way is with plugins within Final Cut Pro itself. And this is what I personally recommend. The downside is generally you have to pay a bit extra. I personally haven't been able to find any really good free subtitling plugins for Final Cut. If you know of any, please let me know in the description. But so far, the best one I have found is the auto captioning tool for Motion VFX. So today I'm just going to show you how I use it because I actually do think it's the best subtitling captioning tool for Final Cut at this point. And this video isn't sponsored by Motion VFX or anything like that. This is just honestly the best solution I've found so far. Okay, so here we are inside of Final Cut Pro and this is a YouTube short that I've already pre-made and I've already got dialogue in this. I just recently got the Keychron K4HE. So that sounds good, but obviously no captions. So the way to do it with this Motion VFX plugin is obviously to install the plugin first. I won't go through that in this video, but once you've installed it, it'll be here in your extensions tab and then it's called MCaptions AI. I'll leave a link in the description. Just open this up and you'll have this window here. Now what you want to do is just drag the project that you want captions to be added to into this little checkered box here. So I'll just drag captions tutorial one right here. It says drop file here, let go. And then as you can see, captions tutorial one is matching this project here. And then just click analyze audio. This will take about 30 seconds, depending on the length of your clip. Mine is about what a minute and 20 seconds. So obviously if it's longer, it might take a little bit longer, but it won't take long at all. And while we're waiting for that, you can see if I turn the favorites off, you've got all these different presets right here, which you can choose from. So if you just mouse over a preset, it'll give you a preview of the style of the captions. Obviously some of them look a bit tacky. I probably wouldn't be using those ones. Some kind of cool ones like this handwritten one. I'm a big fan of that, but this is finished analyzing. So that's ready to go. And now what we have to do is just select one of these caption styles that we like double click it and that adds it into the modification area here. From here, we can literally just drag and drop and add our captions in. So you just go down here where it says drag from here and literally drag this timeline into your project. If we zoom in, you can see these are all captions that are ready to go. So if I play this back, I just recently got the Keychron K4HE and I've genuinely been surprised at how much I've been enjoying it. That's it, that's literally that easy. If you wanna modify it, I personally really like this minimalistic caption style. So I'm just going to double click that and then you can change things like the font. So I'm going to change this to my personal favorite, which is lemon milk. You can adjust the size of the font. So I usually like it a bit smaller. You can adjust the position. So how high or low it is on your video. And then the text width is basically how many words you have in each line. So again, I like to keep it short. So somewhere in the 20 mark is pretty good. Then I can just delete this original caption timeline and then redrag in the new one. If I play this back, I just recently got the Keychron K4HE and I've genuinely been surprised at how much I've been enjoying it. As you can see, it's perfect, ready to go. If you do need to modify, if the AI gets words wrong, all you have to do is click on that particular caption. Then here you can modify the text. So you can say like palm rest, for example. If you need to modify the length, of the caption. The best way I've found is to hold down option, click and drag the caption above itself, and then disable the one underneath it with V. And then you can just adjust the length to whatever you want. The reason I don't modify the actual caption within this timeline is because if you adjust the length of this, it's gonna adjust the length of all the rest of the captions beyond it, and they're all gonna be out of sync. So you have to duplicate it, disable the original, and then you'll be fine. 
So there you go, I hope that was helpful. If you do wanna check out the plugin, I'll leave a link down in the description. It's an affiliate link, feel free to use it. Don't have to, obviously it will just help support my channel if you do. Otherwise, if you're learning more about Final Cut Pro, I've actually got an online course teaching you video editing within Final Cut Pro using the exact same system that I use to create all of my content. There's a link to that in the description. Otherwise, if you want more free YouTube tutorials on how to use Final Cut Pro, check this playlist out right here.